Hi there. So I don't want to adjust your sets for the old timers out there. Um, an old TV uh, reference. Um, I'm actually intentionally recording with this. So this look here is uh, by design. Um, kind of a shy YouTuber here. And this is actually my first attempt in uh, recording in this manner um, anyway I'm here to talk about the uh, Sony ZV-E10 and uh, issues regarding rolling shutter stabilization and also uh, catalyst browse so stick around for a little bit and uh, we'll dive right into this uh, topic See ya. So after taking a, a few video clips, um, took the SD card out of the ZVE10, popped it into the computer with the intent of using Catalyst Browse to stabilize the footage and realized that in some cases there's no gyroscopic data that Catalyst Browse can use. and uh, wasn't sure why that was. As it turns out, um, the gyroscopic data in some cases uh, may be missing in the camera or uh, the, uh, uh, the video footage because it will only record this information if lens-based stabilization is off. So, um, in my case, I had two lenses, both are Sony lenses uh, with OSS. And if you use such a lens with the ZV-E10, you can actually have a third option when you're in a steady shot. Uh, there are three options, off, standard, active. Off means no stabilization at all uh, is enabled. Standard means it's only lens-based stabilization that's enabled. And active means um, <clears throat> full-bore e electronic stabilization. I'm not clear if it's actually using a combination of uh, lens-based stabilization if it's available or if it's purely uh, electronic. Now the latter, active stabilization downside of doing that is extreme cropping um, between 40 something percent so uh, you lose a lot of your uh, uh, footage because of this cropping um, what I thought would have worked as a compromise was to use standard stabilization so there's not as much cropping um, as a result of using active stabilization but there's a downside to doing that, and that is, it appears, doing it that way will mean gyroscopic data is not captured with the footage. And this means I cannot use Catalyst Browse to do the post-production stabilization, which is um, quite a bit of a disappointment. I could use other tools like uh, Resolve or VSDC to do the stabilization but if I do that I actually get a very wobbly um, uh, exported video file which doesn't make sense to me because the actual raw footage um, although it's uh, shaky and, and st uh, stabilized it, it, it's not warping it doesn't wobble it, it, it's not doesn't have that jello like effect um, and uh, ironically if you use active stabilization which already has uh, quite a bit of cropping applied to the footage you can further stabilize that by using a catalyst browse uh, with a penalty of additional cropping so it doesn't add up uh, to me um, 
otherwise the option is to use purely unstabilized footage uh, which is completely unusable straight out of camera or to stabilize uh, footage that's already been stabilized by active uh, steady shot any suggestions please leave it in the comment section it's a wrap for now till next time